new era of exploration is beginning. NASA is building on its experience in low Earth orbit and preparing to go farther, setting up a base camp in orbit around the Moon, known as the Gateway, exploring the surface of the Moon like never before, and preparing to one day go to Mars. To accomplish all this, NASA will need a new spacesuit for its astronauts, one that's more flexible, versatile, and durable than any made before. Engineers are now hard at work designing, building, and testing the new suit, making sure it's up to the task for future exploration. Some of the greatest moments in exploration have taken place with a human in a spacesuit. Whether it was a first journey outside the spacecraft or traversing mountainous moonscapes, the spacesuit made it possible. The act of sending a suited human outside the spacecraft is called EVA. What is an EVA? EVA is an acronym that stands for Extravehicular Activity, which is what most people know as a spacewalk. It's whenever we take astronauts and we let them go outside to do useful work in the vacuum of space. The spacesuits currently in use for NASA EVAs were designed in the 1970s for space shuttle missions. They have been upgraded over the years for work on the International Space Station and have served NASA well. In the past 20 years, there are a handful of types of spacewalks that we've done. Uh, we've done planned spacewalks for maintenance. As hardware breaks, we can do contingency spacewalks. As technology improves, we can upgrade hardware. Or like with the Hubble Space Telescope, we're actually repairing very sensitive scientific experiments in order to enable science. Those EVAs took place in microgravity, where astronauts float and need to use their hands to move from place to place. But moonwalkers, working in one-sixth Earth's gravity, will need spacesuits that let them use their hands and feet, walking to destinations and bending and reaching as they explore. For this new type of work, NASA has been testing prototype planetary suits, culminating in a new suit design, the XEMU. The XEMU is Exploration Extravehicular Activity Mobility Unit. So it's an exploration spacesuit. So it's a spacesuit that you're going to use as we move forward in, on gateway missions and on the lunar missions with Artemis. And then we're using all that to test the suits you would want to use to go to Mars in. So eventually you're going to have to be very independent and very confident in your hardware when you go and do a mission that far away from Earth. One of the most obvious changes in the new spacesuit is the way astronauts get in and out of it. Donning the current suit is a multi-step process of wriggling into the upper torso and then getting help attaching a pair of space pants. The new generation spacesuit features a hatchback where astronauts simply slide in and out of the one-piece body of the suit. I feel much better. Another big feature of the suit is the way the astronauts are able to move while wearing it. Apollo astronauts learned they had to hop to get around on the moon. The suit design sometimes made it difficult for the astronauts to work. Hop. Okay. We see that one went all the way in. Not quite. Engineers learned valuable lessons from those Apollo suits. The improved design for the next generation spacesuit will allow astronauts to walk on the moon, not hop. Additionally, astronauts will experience an improved range of motion. The new suits, the planetary walking suits we're working in now, we really hope to provide improved mobility and comfort along with reduced injury potential. And really, like I said, provide the best tool to the crew member that we can provide. Then we want to be able to provide them the ability to kneel down and pick up a rock, like they're going to want to do in their geology science that they're working on. Uh, we want this to be a very reliable and durable suit so they can use it day after day in a dusty environment and not have to do a lot of maintenance with it while they're needing to do their mission. So there's a lot of those kinds of aspects that go into improving the suit that we're going to provide for the lunar missions. Improved mobility is not the only feature engineers have been working on. The astronauts will also be carrying a special backpack, 
known as the PLIS. So the PLIS is the portable life support system. It's the backpack on the spacesuit, and it has all of the interesting parts to keep the crew member alive while they're on their spacewalk. Um, so it has oxygen stored as pressurized gas uh, for breathing, pressure regulators that regulate the oxygen pressure inside the spacesuit, and then a ventilation loop and a water loop that we call the thermal loop that provide trace contaminant and carbon dioxide removal from the breathing environment and also cooling for the crew member and the suit on board avionics and electronic systems. While the PLIS has been on previous spacesuits, this improved version will offer new technology, greater control of its systems for the astronaut, and longer life for each EVA, allowing more exploration. The PLIS labs are awesome, super fun places, and we physically assemble the parts to build the life support system, and then we test it. It's our opportunity to find things and fix things before we get it on orbit. We love what we do. We really want to see the system fly and be useful and help a person explore the moon in a more capable manner than they were able to do during Apollo. So it's a great job. So I want you to perform some isolated joint movement to understand how the suit moves in the NBL. Testing for the new spacesuit continues underwater in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. Here, the weightless environment of space can be simulated to put the suit through its paces. So being able to test the suit in the pool and microgravity environments allows us to iterate on our design and make it better and get feedback from astronauts and from other uh, instructors and trainers. Could you reach all the way across and uh, do the cross switches with your opposite arm? Oh yeah, it's, it's really easy to get all the switches with my opposite arm. Um, I would rate this as excellent. <laughs> oh, come on. I know, I guess it's going to get lower and flatter. Yeah. Hold on. Oh my you gosh. did it! <laughs> Very good. So if this could happen in real life, this is a spectacular translation. Rex and I are very lucky. It's, it is it is like a you know brand new spacecraft. Even even has the new smell and everything. It does. <laughs> new car smell. Spacesuits are also tested in the Active Response Gravity Offload System, or Argos. Yes. Yeah, so the Argos uh, electronically is able to tune an astronaut exactly to whatever gravity it is that we're practicing that day, whether that's microgravity, lunar gravity, or Martian gravity. The other nice thing about Argos is you're able to get the instructors and the engineers right next to the astronauts as they're working, helping the astronaut figure out a problem as they work through the development of that test for the suit or for a piece of hardware and get that real-time feedback. Spacesuit hardware is not the only thing being tested on Earth. NASA is looking at human performance as an important factor in designing EVAs and spacesuits. So related to a spacesuit, um, a lot of times people think about the actual engineering, the hardware, the different pieces, but I want to look at the EVA scenario from the human really inside the suit and make sure that their performance, both physically, cognitively, is going well. So we want to look at things like uh, physical exertion, cognitive workload, injury risk, and really just trying to make sure that they're not impaired by the uh, EVA system any more than they have to be. The NASA team uses virtual reality technology, motion capture, and other tools to study what it takes for a human to conduct an EVA. And what we're able to do is bring actual, no kidding data to the table that really removes the opinions. That's probably our primary benefit for how we kind of enhance the EVA community is we take a look at this, not from a hardware, not from an operations standpoint first. We look first at the human and then kind of say, what do they need to be able to do to be ready for the job? All the work on the spacesuit here on Earth is building up to the ultimate test, to fly it in space. So we're actually building a flight unit of that XEMU and we're gonna launch it to the International Space Station. And we will do an EVA with a current spacesuit, an EMU that we use today, and the XEMU with it. We'll go out in pairs and we'll have the astronauts working together, one in the old suit and one in the new suit, and we'll test its functionality in a microgravity or a low gravity environment out in the vacuum of space. That will help us test a lot of its systems. The EVA on the space station will set the stage for the future when the suit will need to perform a variety of missions beyond low Earth orbit. 
Yeah, so a great example is uh, NASA's Gateway. So even though it is in lunar orbit, it's still a microgravity platform, so astronauts would still be floating in space. And so we can use a lot of the lessons we learned from the International Space Station to do spacewalks on the Gateway. It's actually really advantageous to use one spacesuit both at Gateway and on the lunar surface. So the exploration spacesuit can do both of those things. For EVAs on the moon, the new spacesuit will give astronauts unprecedented abilities as they explore the lunar surface. Really, this is the first time we're trying to bring a uh, suit that's optimized for human performance and optimized for lunar exploration so that you can actually bend down, interact with the ground, so that you're going to have the visibility that you need, the mobility that you need to accomplish these tasks. This new suit will allow us the flexibility to really do exploration. Get down on the surface and send geologists to the surface and really let them act like geologists in a spacesuit. This is the first time in history that a suit like that will have been created and it's really exciting to be part of that. Um, to do what NASA was meant to do and that is to do exploration. And this suit will really help enable the agency go do exploration. Well, everyone in my generation wasn't alive the first time we went to the moon, and we want to do it again, and we want to do it better. We want to go do more science, we want to stay longer, we want to get more out of it, and we have the technology to do it now. So, we're really excited about it. With its new technology, new design, greater mobility, and greater versatility in how it can be used, NASA's new spacewalking suit is truly tailored for the next generation of space explorers. Subscribe for more space. space, 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 space.